nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was gonna have to face the music sooner or later. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leave them at all. Luckily for me, for once the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. The only cop with a pill problem. Oh, I don't believe this. It's Mr. Have a Nice Day guy. The last few prisoners were trapped in here, and more presently, it seemed I was too. Security switch had to be in that booth. That kid had had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision. Crying shame to let that RPG go to waste.
wasn't this nice. The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking, drunk it, then blown my head off. Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward. And nothing changes. Seemed the anti-drug squad had a few habits of its own. Police food, the same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. Control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way.
If the heat was rising, that meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. I saw the elevator doors were open. If there was one thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo, it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. killed more cops than cholesterol and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail, but it was too late for that now. Becker would be long gone. I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. I'd spent my career dozing off in the briefing room. Now wasn't the time.
It was starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. Nothing I was going to find in there could make a difference now. I had all the evidence I needed. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. There it was, the tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. I'd seen enough. It was time to bring this nightmare to an end. couldn't get that tape out of my head. Why had Ufe killed Rodrigo? I wasn't going to find any answers in the forensics lab. I had to push on. Hey, pal. Nice to see you. Vai pra casa, gringo de merda. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. Then you should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada.
of bodies and still nothing to show for it. It felt like I was detaching, that maybe this was revenge for something else, something buried deep in the past. It was a little late to be thinking about precautions, but something told me this shit show was barely through the warm-up act. More goddamn security doors. Rodrigo, Giovanna, Passos, everyone who'd meant anything was gone. Like so many times before, I'd found myself alone, locked on a course of destruction. It was at my worst when I was at my best. felt like I was going around in circles, getting further away from the truth. I had to find my way out of there. Becker and Bachmeyer had taken their pound of flesh and sold it on the black market. Now I was coming for mine. They had their body armor, I had mine. Vamos indo. Se estiver na mesa, rapaziada, bom trabalho. 
Só tô esperando a confirmação do outro grupo, mas o gringo já deve estar tá morto agora. Senhor, ele não parece estar tá morto! Da puta, pelo amor de Deus! Love to interfere in things you do not understand. Oh, I understand plenty, asshole. How stupid can one man be? Thank you for all the fine war. Get a direct shot. I was gonna have to get creative. It was a waste of bullets. His cover was too good. I hope they be the one to kill you. Ah! This was the passkey to Becker's office. I was close to the end of all this, and I could feel it. Becker! <laughs> Something funny about dying? I felt like the avenging angel. I looked like a fat, bald dude with a bad temper. You disgusting piece of shit! I know everything! Not everything, my friend. Let go of him, Max. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> There's a good fellow. Well, well, well. Victor, I was wondering when you'd reappear out of whatever slimy hole you live in. <laughs> I'd like to just say, Max, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work, for my family, and for cleaning up that horrible mess with the Crasha Preto for us. You know I'm tough on crime. I give you a bonus, but I think you just fritter it away. Becker, take his gun. Thomas, you feel the poop! They had 
barred the door. My only hope was to chase them down. I knew they'd be leaving town, and my guess is they would try to fly out of here. Rich people love to fly away. God damn it! <laughs> 